Hello, good morning. Welcome back after the break. Um, day two, we're uh, trotting spunkily up the A1. We've left Ferry Meadows Caravan Club site in Peterborough, where we had a very comfortable night. It is so nice when you're on the road, just to collapse into your own bed. It really is. Uh, where we turned into Ferry Meadows last night, now bear in mind today's Tuesday, it's March, and it's not the school holidays. The sign on the door, uh, on the gate, said, Site full. And I thought, oh yeah. Well, lay me down with a feather, the site really was full. I mean, they've only got half of it operating through the winter anyway. They don't have the grass pitches open for obvious reasons. Yeah, yeah, I think if you're towing, if you're carrying a great big whopping huge extra wide combine harvester, yeah, you should overtake a caravan that's doing 60 and go 65 miles an hour. That's really sensible. Stupid idiot. <coughs> Where was I? Oh yeah, Ferry Meadows. And it got me thinking, you know, you wouldn't generally expect people to go to Peterborough for a holiday or a weekend away, but it shows you really just how a decent site like Ferry Meadows can generate tourism and can generate visitors to an area because you might think, what is there to do in Peterborough? It's just, you know, it's a modern city. But Ferry Meadows is right in the middle of a country park. I took Dougal for a lovely hour-long walk this morning. You've got a boating lake on the country park, so when there's a bit of wind, uh, you can go windsurfing and stuff. There's great cycle lanes into the city, so you can cycle, you can leave your motor home on the campsite. There's a steam railway right outside. Uh, there is... You know, especially for a family, there's everything really you need. There's decent restaurants, uh, you can get an Indian takeaway delivered to your caravan. Uh, real, you, you can walk to a harvest, I think it's a harvester or, you know, something, family restaurant just up the road. So, yeah, I think um, it just goes to show really how decent site and decent facilities for caravanners could really boost an area because I do wonder looking at that full site on the Tuesday in March uh, th th they say that caravanners spend on average 20-25 pounds a day within the uh, area not including their accommodation and you do wonder since that site has been opened thanks to the forward thinking of Peterborough City Council um, how many millions of pounds that has generated for the local area so I would say good for you Peterborough for uh, incorporating uh, caravanning and camping in your uh, big plan and good for the caravans club for uh, operating such a good site and uh, yeah it's a really good destination I think for uh, a weekend or even longer yeah, to me that is a real example of a caravanning success story, so that's a nice one. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's talk about me. Me, me, me. Uh, we are on the way up the A1. Uh, it is half past ten, had a very comfortable night, and uh, had one of those, you know, I did what Americans call dry camping, in other words, I didn't get all the water set up and all that. I, uh, I just used a jerry can. So to save washing up, I for breakfast I had one of those little instant porridge in a cup thing. And I've not had a coffee. So, ah, there's a sign there. Okay, diner, half a mile along. I think we shall rectify that. Thank you for watching. Disconnecting.